Chloe, I'm a travel content creator, realtor, and also a jelly cake maker. I have a brand called Joy by Chloe. Today, I will be bringing you through how I'm making my Christmas Wish Upon a Tree jelly cake. We're gonna start with the clear jelly base. What we need is the jelly powder and also sugar and the lychee flavoring. We're gonna make the lychee flavor ones. We need to get 750 ml of water from the dispenser and then we'll mix it with the jelly powder to let it sit for 10 minutes. We'll just bring it to a boil and we'll wait for it to uh, foam up and scoop up the foam from the top. Why I'm removing the foam is because we want a clear jelly base. If it's not clear, it will be very murky and you can't really see um, the designs that you're going to be injecting into the jelly. So now what I'm going to do is to add in the sugar as well as the lychee flavouring. So while this is heating up, we are going to mix thorough to ensure that um, nothing is burnt at the bottom. Here we have our Wish Upon a Tree mold and we are going to pour the clear jelly solution in. So I'm using the strainer and after that, we're just gonna use a spoon, scoop up all the bubbles and then you can set it in the fridge for maybe about 2-3 to three hours and then we can take it out to start injecting it. Dry my Chloe actually started during the COVID period because I wanted to make a jelly cake for my grandma's birthday. I went for a jelly cake making class, I uh, didn't want something too sweet for her and I decided to tweak it and I was so happy because my grandma was so happy to receive my very first creation, the floral jelly cake and that actually inspired me to bring joy to my other clients so I named the business Joy by Chloe and I'm so happy that when I hear good feedback from my clients that the jelly cake is not too sweet and their parents like it a lot it just pushed me to actually create more designs for people so this is a clear jelly solution how to make the colouring to actually inject into the clear jelly base we're gonna add in this uh, solution that we mix the milk and coconut cream then you just got to mix them so that they are well combined. So I find it a very um, good activity to de-stress because it actually lets me unleash my creativity. This is like a water bath. Um, I have three different bowls here because if you want to have multiple colours then probably you can prepare a few more bowls. So um, I will use a sieve and then I will pour the solution into each individual bowl uh, depending on the quantity I need. So we're going to do a more peachy pink tone. We're gonna add like probably one drop of pink and one drop of orange ink. Go and mix them up. Okay, so now for the injecting of the jelly, what we need is a syringe. We have all these different types of needles to create the different flowers. So I have many needles uh, in my collection, and these are the few that we'll be using for this wish upon the tree design. Now we're gonna syringe up the solution. So this is the final product of the Wish Upon a Tree cake. So you can see I made the different rose designs with the snowflakes as well. So if you are interested to find out more about Dry by Chloe and Living Care's Onyx Water Dispenser, do check out the video description below. From my kitchen to yours, wishing you a very Merry Christmas and a blessed New Year ahead. Bye!